Hi guys, we're going to do a little bit of um, green pen feedback for the listing task that you did in the last lesson. So there were some really good um, answers to this, but there's some very, very simple ones as well. And I realized upon reflection that when I asked you to do the listening tasks, um, although we'd gone through in quite a lot of detail the different instrumental characteristics of, um, um, of uh, sort of uh, pop music, I hadn't really told you what I was looking out for. So please, while we're doing this, could you make a note? Um, if you've got your books, please do it in your books as a green pen reflection. Uh, if you haven't got your books, do it in your prep books as a green pen reflection. And, and make sure you make a note of uh, the date so that we can go back and, uh, and, we can, and we can do it together. I'm also going to put it as a resource um, online as well uh, so that we can, we can print it out and put it in our folders later on. Um, okay, so we're going to look at, first of all, um, example one. Now, and I apologize if the, the slide is backwards for some reason. It's doing that when I'm recording on the screen. Um, what we want to do is try and get four points for the instrumental roles in each of our recordings. So we're going to play it, and then we're going to go through it in a little bit of detail, okay? So the first track that we listened to was um, Save Tonight by Eagle Eye Cherry, and it goes a bit uh, something like this. Okay, so I'm just interested in uh, the opening part there. The thing that st uh, stands out immediately is the guitar. Okay, now it's not a lead guitar because it's not playing the melody. It's a rhythm guitar um, because it's playing the chordal pattern. Okay, it's keeping the rhythm going. It's keeping the pulse. It's keeping the meter going. Okay, so we've got a rhythm. Guitar playing chords. Okay, very simple. Um, the other thing that's really obvious is the drum beat. Okay, so we have a drum kit playing. It's a it's a standard four four pack. Okay, so let's listen again and make sure that we've got those things. Okay, rhythm guitar playing four chords. Now, if you're really astute, what you will hear is a lead guitar playing a very long, distorted note. Okay, lead guitar playing a very long distorted note. Um, it's really, really subtle, but it is there. Okay, and the fourth thing to notice is that further on in the track we have um, some violin chords as well, so some string chords. All right, that's only four points to be aware of, but they're there nonetheless. Example two then was Royce Wood Jr. Um, playing Clanky Love, if you want to go back and listen to it. Okay, so again, we're just looking at the introduction. 
we're not really looking at um, when the lead singer comes in. But what we've got is a very obvious piano playing high chords on each beat. Da, 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 da. Okay, then the lead guitar and piano left hand. Play the riff. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, the drums. The hi hat plays hi hat plays at the same time. as the piano chords. Ta, 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 ta. You can hear it all the way through, okay? And then the bass guitar. Plays. With the lead guitar. Okay, four simple points is what we have. Piano playing high chords on each beat. Lead guitar and piano left hand play the riff. The drums, the hi hat mirrors the piano chords, and the bass guitar plays with the lead guitar and um, doing the riff. Okay. So you hear it one more time to cement those things in. And the final one that we listened to was uh, Pomplamus, and it was a mashup between Sweet Dreams and Seven Nation Army. So, we listen to this one before we get down into detail. <laughs> Okay, so that's enough to be going on. Now, first thing that you notice, the drums play the standard 4-4 pattern. Okay, that's exactly the same um, as the pattern that we heard in example one. The bass guitar Plays the riff. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Seven Nation Army riff. We then have the vocals that come in. Now, for this, we're only concentrating on the instrumentation and not the vocals, okay? So we're going to ignore the vocals for the time being. Once the vocals come in and they sing the Sweet Dreams melody, we then have a counter melody that is played by the lead guitar. Counter melody that's played by the lead guitar. When the uh, vocals enter as well, the drum kit does something. It backs out of the 4 4 pattern that we heard at the beginning and just plays the kick drum on each beat. We'll listen again and we'll put those things into context. Drums play the standard 4 4 pattern at the beginning. Bass guitar is playing the riff. 
Sweet dreams are made of this. The melody from Who the am I to disagree? I travel the, the world is already playing in the seven beat. seas. Everybody's looking for something. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to be used by you. Some of them. So that's what we should have picked up on. Um, this is the first time we've done uh, pop music analysis, so I'm su not surprised that we didn't get most of those um, ideas. But please make a note of them and in green pen and then move on to the next part of the lesson. All right? Thanks very much. Bye.